Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the French tier 10 medium tank, the MX 30 b And if you haven't guessed by the title, as always, this is the video where we've got games that lead up to and achieve the third mark of excellence for the tank. Now, this game was some way before, some way before I achieved the third mark of excellence. I think I've already got the second mark on the tank, but for some reason I'm way below. I think it was after some well, some of the massive drops. And, yeah, generally on my way to the third mark of this tank, I didn't have any spectacular games, if I'm totally honest. Except, well, except for this one you're going to see now, really. To be honest, this is the best game I had in the tank. It's probably the best game I've ever had in the tank. But most games I was having, like, probably 5, 5.5k five damage, which is enough to go up, like... 0.3.4 and I was doing that consistently which is good which is exactly what you want to do but I wasn't having those killer 7 8k games consistently enough where I'm getting half a percent to a percent and the ace tankers and they're worth showing they were like you know pretty sort of average three mark potential games you know but the 30b isn't a tank that I particularly like that much because it has great mobility and it has great shell velocity. But it's got no armour. It's got that big fat cupola on the top. Which tends to catch shots all the time. When you're in ridgeline positions like this. And generally the gun just likes to miss anyway. And it was very frustrating. And yeah it's just a tank that I never really enjoyed all that much. But I actually have this set up for stealth. And that is with the crew I have born leader. Rapid reload. Trap mechanic. Sixth sense. Situational awareness. Steady aim. Run and gun, camouflage expertise, and muffled shot. And I also run a camo net. Now I run a rammer, camo net, and optics. Optics, because make your view range as good as possible. Camo net, well, you're going to see why the camo net is great in this game. And rammer, obviously, you want to make your DPM better. Now the gun does like to not pen things. Now it's not that derpy, which is good because the accuracy is alright. But the pen at 255 sometimes just, just says no. And you have APCR ricochets and stuff like that. I don't know. The 30B is one of those really annoying ones for me that just never seems to work when it probably should. But, hey, this game on proc is one of the great games for it. So we're using the camo. We're using the spotter 30B. We're pushing aggressively. We are becoming the scout 30B. We're up to 4K spotting already. We've made this aggressive push when I got lit in the bush back there because it was like, well, I'm, I'm just going to push. I'm going to spot every TD that's possibly hiding back here on the K line and by doing so, get under their gun lines as well. I mean, I've got enough team supporting me and that is what happened. I, the team that supported me, they also managed to shoot them and we dealt with it. Now we're spotting the guys that are under the bridge and we're looking for shots. I'm not that fussed about the badger behind me because the badger behind me, if he wants to push over and shoot me, he's going to have to push over in front of my whole team. Which is assisted for me, probably. And not just that, I can push, push up on this ridge line here and spot those guys on, under the bridge and get spotting on them. I want to get to the next ridge line to push under and spot anyone that's possibly on the train tracks. And we end up spotting the Death Star there that is sitting there. And I'm kind of hoping that someone would shoot it, but unfortunately not quite. But we're still getting assisted on the E4 and that under the bridge. Now we spot a Waffle Panzer IV that's just sat in the open. And I'm like, please everybody, shoot him. Shoot him. And you know what? I'm going to ignore him. Because we've got shots at this 50 TP, right? And because I'm spotting these guys like the Waffle Panzer IV, I'm going to get the assistance for it anyway. So I figured, you know what? Screw it. We'll ignore the Waffle Panzer IV. We won't shoot him even though he's an easy shot. We'll shoot the 50 TP instead. Because that's free damage for me. And I'm still getting the assisted on the other guys. And you see him. We're still spotting the guys under the bridge. I'm thinking, you know what? I've got all the health now. I'm going to poke up to kill this t TVP. Which is what we do. And now we're looking for more shots at the 50 TP on the, bri on the bridge. On the hill, I should say. Unfortunately, we missed the shot on the move. Now we're unspotted. We can sit and aim. We get a nice tracking shot into his side there. And we're just going to wait for the reload to try and pop another shot in. And we pop his ammo rack for a thousand, which is really nice. And we're just going to move forward now because we know the RT is, but we're probably not going to get that kill. And we had a fantastic game for the 30B, and I did only have the first mark, and that was it. So this was quite a while before the next game, but yeah. So we finished with four kills, 5.3k damage, 8.7k assist. That's 14k combined. 
Ace Tanker, Patrol Duty, Sniper Medal, Scout Medal, High Caliber, Confederate, 1962 base. And this was definitely my best game in the tank in the run of games that I had for the third mark. And, yeah, I say, I, I didn't do that well with it generally. I just managed to do well enough consistently, which is exactly, like I say, was exactly what you need to do to three mark the tank. I did well enough consistently to get the games to get movement and not too many games where I did badly enough to drop and that's what got us through in the end. Like this game is, is a pretty good game for marks but generally it's not the best and we end up getting cut short as well and it probably typifies my games in the 30B to be honest where it's like I'm on for a good game and I'm already having a good game but I'm on for even better. And something just happens and we get done. Because I feel like this is also one of my unlucky tanks where if a shot's going to catch me, it's going to catch me. Everyone's going to hit me. And there's not much I can do about it. We're just going to get wrecked. So we're on Westfield. And we're taking the aggressive... Well, we're taking the spotting bushes. We're going to try and get some assistance from all my team that's up on this flank that's pushing up. So they should be able to get shots at the people we spot up, which is nice. So we spot a 268 version 5 that is crossing in the open. Hopefully, well, I'm hoping that people will shoot him, so therefore feed us some assistance. But we're also managing to stay unspotted as we're shooting these people because we're using the bushes in front of us. We've got the camo perks, we've got the camouflage net. So we're managing to stay unspotted. But the 50 TP prototype is in a position where he's far too close to us when we fired there, even though we fired through the bush. He was always going to spot us. So we did the one thing you've got to do when you're in that position. And that is as soon as you get spotted, dash. Duck, dodge, dip, dive and dodge. Right? You've got to get out. You've got to not just sit there and wait. Right? As soon as that light bulb flicks on, get out. So now we're unspotted. We're going to go back up into a position where hopefully we can spot the 50 TP and get a shot at him. Because we want to get rid of him. Because he's just going to keep spotting us every time we're in that position. We actually get shot there by the Draugen, who gets spotted doing it, therefore takes a hit. And again, we're just doing the whole thing of getting spotted, running, getting unspotted, coming back. Because that's what we've got to do. Like I say, you've just got to always be prepared that you're going to get spotted and then get out of dodge as quick as possible. So that 50 TP prototype is a bit of a problem at the minute. We're up to 2.2k damage, which is not enough currently. The 50 TP gets killed, which is nice. Um, that means we can push a bit further up into the bushes ahead now and see if we can get some more shots at the 268 version 5 and the Draugen. We actually end up getting spotted there because we pop up a little bit too high on the ridgeline and spot the two TDs in their base. And you know what? I think, you know, if, if I've got spotted, I'm going to push a little bit more aggressively forward to see if I can spot anyone that is further down the K-line, but I don't quite do it. We end up getting 2K assistance on those TDs that we spotted, which is really nice, up to 4K, which means we're probably up to enough where we get one more shot of damage, we're going to hold the mark of excellence, which is nice. We try and get a shot at the back chat 25 TP, TAP sorry, that we just spotted, and unfortunately we just about missed the shot at him. It's not the hardest target to hit in the universe. We, we managed to get into a position where we can shoot him. That'd be nice. We do spot the Waffly 100. Try and get a shot into the top of his turret. Unfortunately, missed that again. And we're just looking for more shots. So I know that if I get one more shot, I'm definitely holding the mark. I'm not going to drop. And then from then on, we're going to be in a position where we're gaining all the time, which is what we want to be. This Iron Rain gets spotted above us. We're looking to try and get into a better position as well to try and get shots at these guys. We managed to shut down the Dragon there, which is really nice. We end up bouncing something from the distance, which I believe is the Bat Chat 25 TAP. I'm in a bad position here because that guy has three shots at us, but fortunately enough, he stops shooting us. I am worried that we've got the 268 version 5 behind us, and if he pops around, he can just blap us for 850, and that's not what we want, really. So I'm just being wary of it. I'm turning around to move. I'm still spotting the Iron Rain up. We're up to... 2.7k damage and 3.1k assist, which is like what 4.8, nearly 5, well 5.8 combined, which is really nice. That means we're definitely going up at least 0.3, so we're gaining. And I think at this point I was at 94.5, so 
I still needed that half a percent. So we just need an extra probably thousand damage, and I'm thinking I'm probably I've probably got it. Maybe you never know with MOEs. So we're just doing our best to get extra shots in where we can. We get a nice shot into the 705A. We duck down so we don't take a hit from the 277, but unfortunately we end up missing the shot on him. But we can still get a little bit of assisted on those guys. So we're up to 6.3k combined. And I'm thinking, mm, this could be it. You know, we could already have it. We're just going to move forward to see if we can spot anything else on this K line. Try and help our guys out to spot. And then this is Waffley 100. We end up spotting the Batchat 25 TAP. Get a nice shot into him. And I make a mistake. This Waffley 100 is clearly moved, just YOLOing into that position. Which is a bad position for him. But it's a bad position for me. Because he yellows into that position, gets his whole clip into us, and unfortunately, he shuts us down. But, the game ends, and we end up losing, unfortunately, but we did do enough to get it. So we finished with a third mark of excellence, 95.4, so it was actually a whole percent, because it was 8k combined nearly, 3.8k damage, 3.9k assist, only the 740 base XP, because it was a loss. Shame to do it on a loss, it tends to happen sometimes and it's really annoying when it's like that but 8k combined is a nice game and it was enough to get us over the line which is exactly what we needed it was nice to get the 30b3 marks it's one that i've always intended to do for quite a while and it's a tank that i don't really enjoy that much so it was nice to have it done so as always everybody thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time A great success!